LibreOffice, Google Docs. Which one are you using as a dedicated Office app? Well, today we're going to put them head to head. We want to know which one is the better option, what their features are, what their disadvantages are. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let us jump into LibreOffice now. So LibreOffice is actually a one-stop, no-cost solution with a commitment to open source principles, allowing for usage, sharing, and even customization by literally anybody. It's perfect for anybody that wants full control over their software. It also comes with a complete suit, including writer, calc, and impress, uh, making it suitable for virtually any type of office task. Its tools are also comparable to premium desktop software. You don't need an internet connection to use LibreOffice, ensuring uninterrupted productivity, which makes it a great pick for anybody that is in an area with an unreliable internet connection. It also can enhance your functionality by um, adding extensions which are tailored to your specific workflow. The flexibility overall empowers you to create highly personalized experiences. One or two of their drawbacks, however, is that because it is relatively new, it does have a steeper learning curve for more of its advanced features. And unfortunately, because there is no internet connection required, it is not cloud-based and there's no real-time collaboration tool. So if you are working in a team, it's not the product for you. All right, so who doesn't love Google Docs? So with Google Docs, you can actually create, edit, and access documents from literally anywhere on any device with an internet connection. It's perfect for those who are on the move. You can also take advantage of their real-time collaboration features. So if you have multiple team members, um, you can actually work on the same document simultaneously with changes appearing literally in real time. Um, this makes it fantastic for collaboration. Also, Google Docs eliminates the risk of losing your work with its autosave feature. It is really insanely awesome. The explore feature also allows you to search the web and find relevant information directly within your document. It basically streamlines research and reduces the need to switch between tabs. You can do everything in one place. Also, it seamlessly integrates into larger Google workspace ecosystems, including uh, Google Calendar, Gmail, and even Google Sheets. This ensures a cohesive user experience. So one or two of the drawbacks, because it is internet dependent, you do need a stable internet connection for full functionality. It could be a bit of a disadvantage if you do not have this. Also, it has limited desktop functionality, so it doesn't offer any full featured desktop client, and it may not suit you if that is what you're looking for. Okay, so you see that there are tons of features packed in each one of these applications. The software, they have amazing features. They also do have one or two drawbacks that we need to take into consideration, of course, to make sure that we are considering all things. The takeaway here really is to go ahead and use both of them, try them out, see what works for you specifically. If this really was a helpful video, you can go ahead and drop us a like down below, and we will see you next time.